is my co-host Buster, but come to stage right now, please go for Todd James. What's up? Uh, all right. So, uh, did anyone here uh, work today? Does anyone have a job? <laughs> I tried working once, uh, so I can kind of relate. Before I became a comedy star, his career skyrocketed doing three minutes in a bar. I was uh, like all of you, comedy. Uh, no, so so my name is Todd. I'm from Minnesota, and uh, so I just heard that the California lottery was what, like 140 million or something like that, and somebody just missed it by like two digits or something like that. I read that. And I got to thinking, so that leaves $140 million still. I hope somebody's going to win that money that is going to know how to spend it. That is going to be creative, have fun with it. Not somebody, in Minnesota, a group a few years ago, a group of very dull, boring lunch women, middle-aged lunch women, from a small little Minnesota town won the lottery, and they were so boring. They were so dumb, she was like, they were on the news and they were like, what are you going to do with the money, ma'am? <laughs> oh, jeez, cripes. I don't know. I think I'm going to get new tires on my car. <laughs> are you kidding me with that, sister? I was a theater major when I was in college. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. And so, I'm creative. I would know how to spend that money if I won $140 million. I would buy, I would build a custom-made yacht. Yep. And I would sail around the world, and I would buy people that I liked. <laughs> Particularly hot Hispanic men who are confused about their sexuality. <laughs> I would buy those guys up. Um, I would get some art, because, you know, like a nice piece of art, like a Renoir or something like that. Because, you know, art is pricey. Right now, if I want art in my tiny little apartment, I gotta hang a blank frame against the crack on the wall and pretend it's abstract. No pity laughs, please. Somebody comes over and they go, oh, that's interesting. Isn't that? Look at that work. Look at that intricate. Such a design. It almost looks like a remote control. <laughs> I, uh, I think this is my girth. I, I got you. Uh, how you doing? Be sure and run that blender when my jokes don't work. <laughs> um, I, I, I like the sound of my dreams going down in my That works really good. Uh, so, who, does anyone here, I am single, uh, surprise, uh, but I, you know, it, uh, this is stupid to ask a room full of mostly comics if anyone's here on a date. Uh, <laughs> I know we have relationship problems, a lot of us do. Well, here's a, here's a piece of dating advice. You're a nice looking gentleman. Uh, or do you work here? Or did you just come in? Aren't you nice? Okay. Here's a piece of advice for you. You go out on a date, you let your date know everything about yourself. You open yourself up. Bombard him with information. Don't let him get a word in. Just keep talking. Politics, religion, weird things that only a therapist should hear, just tell him. Tell him. Maybe you hate your job and you want to stab your coworker. Let him know. Makes you sound interesting and it shows you have goals. <laughs> Thank you, nice lady. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, before I go, I'll leave you with an impression. If you are still with us, uh, the great Jimmy Durante singing Megan Trainer. <clears throat> Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. There he is. <laughs>